Good afternoon. I hope everybody hears me. I, I think I'll start with the um, asking you if you all could smile. So I'm going to have a little group photo. That's uh, a wide smile. Thank you. Very good. You all look good. Now, that's going to be on my blog at some point. Thank you very much for inviting me here. And I have to say, first of all, it's a great venue. And I'm, I'm really impressed about this Mobile Monday here in Amsterdam. So big hand for the, for the guys for organizing this. Because you know what? This is not happening everywhere. <laughs> I'd also like to start saying that it's a good introduction what you had there with the Nokia internet tablets. Because that's exactly how I feel with Blick. When you give out things for free, people are happy. So congratulations, you all. I noticed from your voting that 10% of you think or act like 16, 24 year olds. How many of you in 16, 24 bracket here in the, in, in here today? I can see one, there's at least one, two, there are a few experts, three, four, five, great guys, about 10 of you. The rest of us, you have no clue. So you have to take my word when I'm presenting this stuff, I'm representing and telling what our members are saying. So it's not my opinion. There's a bit of while I was 16, 24 bracket. 50% of you, actually, 50% of you believe in the same thing that I do. So I'll come back to those couple of points in a second. So let me first start by saying what's Blick. We are a free mobile operator funded by advertising. It's not a complicated proposition. We link young people with the brands they like. And in the UK, we give them 217 texts and 43 minutes for free upfront. No catch, no contract, that's it. By the way, the last point is the hardest one to convince because people are so used to get, well, I don't use that word, I'll use a nicer word, they don't trust people that much. Now, I'm also a firm believer that communication should be free. It is a fundamental human need. We are a we species. We like to communicate. So communication should be free. We've started with this one and we'll keep on improving. And let me share you today how we're doing this, and after that, please, if you have any questions, I try to answer them as well as I can. But that's where we are. In the UK, we launched six or seven months ago. We also now announced that we will be launching in Netherlands by the end of the year. So hopefully there will be some more free stuff available here pretty soon. Other announcements will follow. We've said from the outset that we are a pan-European company. Blick is all about questions, so I'm also presenting a couple of questions. What do you see in common in here? Communication, Communication is something. Very good. Content. Content. Media. Media. Media is a good word. But you know what is, what is very interesting with this, all of these? They all take their readers, their viewers, or their listeners as an active part of the value chain. Make that in English. There are free newspapers. You can read it for free. You open up your radio, you tune into the radio station, you can listen to the music you want for free. Somebody's paid for that. That's the advertisers. Google organizes your internet for free. Somebody's paying for that, but it's not you. That's media. Then you have these people who are talking about mobile media. So let's ask what's different with mobile. Paper, personal, all good answers. But I'll tell you one thing that is very different with mobile today. You get nothing. You get nothing for free. Or even if you get something for free, it's something you don't like. Or something you don't use. 
So you could really ask whether that's free or not. How can mobile then call themselves a media if it's not acting as a media? You would like to take people in. You give them something for using it. If you take money out of advertisers, you don't keep it all to yourself. You give it to the people. It's good to remember that you should give people what they want. Because if you give people what they want, then they will play with you. So we did that one. We went and asked, what do young people, the 16 to 24 year olds, what do they want? First, they want voice. That is their first killer application. That's what they think that they want. Secondly, they want also the text. And third one, it's a tough one. Used it this morning, and I'm sure quite a many of you used it as well. That's it. Three killer applications. And I can hear the question, where's the mobile internet? Nowhere. Because they're acting as 10% of you here. They use it. Two-thirds of the 16, 24-year-olds are not using mobile internet, or they're using it less than once a month. Two-thirds. So if we would give out something free that they wouldn't use, would that be free? So that's where we start. We give out something they want, and that's voice, and that's text, because that's they, what they want. There are a few reasons why they're not using mobile internet, and don't get me wrong, I'm a great believer in a lot of technology things. Cost is a barrier, and there is not enough interesting content. So remember the first rule, give people what they want. So we give people what they want. They get free text, free voice. Look at the other side of the equation, the advertisers. What should we do with them? We should give them what they need. That's a good question. What do advertisers need? And now also think about the 16, 24 year olds. What do advertisers need? Here is a brand in the UK, and there are young people. There were about 10 of you here. Easy route to them? Sure, right. You just choose which one of the 600 plus TV stations or three and a half thousand magazines, nearly 400 radio stations, 3,500 cinema screens, or 11 billion web pages. Just choose which one you want to use when you reach to your target audience. That's why advertisers are finding it so difficult to engage with young people. Because they don't consume media like the old generation did. You know, you tuned in, you, you had a TV program that you were interested in. Then you sat down and you watched it. Today, they consume over five medium at a time. They're doing instant messaging, texting, they listen to radio, they eat, they do their homework, all the rest of it at the same time. Just imagine that you want to reach to this target audience. So no wonder there are so many of us here saying mobile is a great platform for all of this. That's true. It's a big mobile promise. You only have to know their demographics. You only have to know their lifestyle. You only have to know where they're located, where are their interests, and how they interact. But you know what? Nobody knows that. So that's your mobile promise. So when we started to design the service, we said, OK, here's the deal. We give out you free text and free voice. And in exchange, so that we can serve you relevant advertising, you tell us what you do, where you live, what you like, what's your favorite music, what's your favorite sports team, what's your favorite sports, where you spend your money. Because then we can focus and give you advertising that services your needs. Because that brings relevance. And mobile is all about relevance. Who would you like to appear on your screen? On your mobile screen? Would you like to have 665 spam mails on it? So that you could not even use it? Of course not. It's a private place. It's your place. You want to control that. 
So when mobile needs to grasp this opportunity, it has to do it in a such a way that it becomes relevant. We know all of that of our members because they want to tell that to us. So that's how it works. It's not complicated. In the middle, we are there with the capabilities of an operator, but the ethos of a media, because we think the audience first. Well, does it work? When we launched a good six months ago, we said that the first year target for Blick is to get 100,000 members for the first year. Now, some of the operator thinkers might say, well, that's not that much. Hang on. There aren't that many mediums in the UK that are bigger than that to reach this target audience. So we said, if we have 100,000, we would be quite big as a medium. That was in April. We achieved our goal six months ahead of the schedule. That's the number today. It's 140,000 and growing fast, thousands a week. So we now become the fastest growing youth medium in the UK. So it seems to be working that if you give people what they want, they play with you. OK, does relevance make a difference for advertisers? Because remember, we wanted to give advertisers what they need. And they need the engagement. If we would achieve 10% response rate for any message that we send out, that would already be more or less four times more than any other options that the advertisers have. We have now run nearly 900 campaigns since our launch. And that's our average response rate. It's 29%. And it's not going down. Because answering is fun. Because you get messages that you're interested in. You're going out, you're 17 year old, you'd like to have some tips, how do I make up myself today? Suddenly, L'Oreal is there to help you. And you answer and you get another tip. So answering makes sense, because in mobile domain, that's all about communication. Mobile is a push channel. I call you, you call me. I text you, you text me. It's a dialogue channel. So why would anybody use mobile in any other way? So there, therefore, we can see that with this offer, we get easily the number of members we want. And we can get response rates. And not only response rates, but also how much cost per re response, which is superior to any other medium in the world, in the UK. So no wonder that we have already over 100 brands working with us. And as we've said, by the end of the year, we want that number to be 200. 200 brands working with us, and they're all enabling us to make the communication free for young people. And here's just sampling of some of these brands that work with us. Just imagine, you're 16 year old, 17 year old, you start to decide which bank you go with. But that's a big decision. And you'll keep that decision for years to come. So advertisers have a good reason to reach out to this target audience of 16, 24 year olds. They make important decisions that will affect their life for a long time. So they wouldn't be a sales pitch. Uh, biggest surprises until today? Well. Did you actually, and there's a lot of operators here, but the industry didn't have this. There wasn't really a mass distribution capability of, for example, MMS messages available readily so that you can send simultaneously hundreds of thousands of messages out. It comes from cumbersome. It can be done. That was a bit of a surprise. The members have embraced this quicker than we thought. Uh, we wanted to develop our website, so we sent them a a note and saying, could you give us feedback on our website? We got 55% of people answering. That's quite good. Try it with your own customers. 55% 55 peop 55 of people actually answered. Here is what I would do if I would be you. Our host operator partners, and very proudly we are here partnering with Vodafone, they have also seen the value because it's a hard, to, hard target audience and it's difficult to make reasonable earnings within that target audience. We are able to bring adjacent industry that is advertising into this equation. Yep. 
And brands and agencies are more and enthusiastic than publicly are quoted. And this is what I'm going to share with you now. Penguin Books, this is the highest response rate so far, 67% for a book. Sent that one to people, then they got this one. Would you like to have a sneaky preview on the latest novel? And then it would be read out loud in your mobile by Nicholas Hult, who is the star of the Skins series. 67 if I'm going to tell people. this story properly, without trying to hide anything, then there's something I should own up to. They got 90 seconds of that type of things. First, first in the industry, reading out book in a mobile. 67% answered to that. And if they didn't want to have it, then we drove them to the website. So if somebody says that book is not an interesting subject, I think you're wrong. Our members have proven you wrong in there. Okay, 67%, the last word I say, I think that most of the parents would be happy to receive that response rate. Okay. Thank you, Auntie.